Hello, my name is Mr. Glindo. Welcome to a Design It, Make It, Race It Illustrator tutorial. Now, today, this short video and the next one will be about creating a small casing to house our CO2 dragsters. Now, to do this, we need to use a web application, uh, which I've left a link to on our classroom page. Um, we also need to use um, some measuring techniques so we're going to have to get a steel rule out and measure our vehicle we're also going to then use a new program called illustrator that you probably haven't used before um, to start with we've got to get those measurements so you need to make sure you've got your vehicle placed on a flat surface and then measure the height from the track surface to the highest point that's the canister for me then you want to find the widest point of your vehicle for me it's the front axles for most students it will be the rear axles and then you want your overall length. I tend to do this by placing it against another surface, maybe a book, and then putting the ruler against that and then looking at the measurement at the back edge here. After we've got those, the length, the width and the height, we have to add on some extra space because we want this to fit within our box um, with a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to add on 10 more millimeters to its width, its height, and 20 millimeters to the length because we want the wheel room and we need to have enough space to fit our canister uh, we have glued into the back of our vehicle. Okay, having done that and getting your three dimensions ready, you should then jump onto our classroom page. You can see here this on the right and go to the box designer link. Clicking on this takes you to a web app and web apps are really useful tools to be able to um, do a whole range of things. Um, they can do anything from designing boxes for you to use to um, doing mathematics on, making nice graphs. There's just, I mean, there's so many different web apps, it's too hard really to describe them all, but there's one for every single different thing you could do in the world, really, probably. Um, there's just that many of them. The first thing we do, though, once we get here, um, is we change this to millimeters, the unit, and then we type in our dimensions. You'll notice you've got to do your width, your depth, that's a weird name, depth and height. The depth um, is actually your length. So the length of your box is the same as the depth of the box. So I'm going to type in my width first. That's 80 millimeters after I added on the extra. My depth is 250 and my height is 85. Not 285, there we go. Then I'm going to change the material thickness. I'm going to change that to 3 millimeters. We are using quite thin 3 millimeter plywood. Okay for our individual panel pieces for the box, or the case as I like to call it. We will also use some 3mm um, acrylic or see-through plastic to change one surface of the box so that we can see through it. Now, having done the 3mm thickness, we need to change the cut width to 0 0.1, which is just a little bit better on our machine, and then we go design it, and it will download automatically and create a design. Uh, in a PDF. Now we need to modify this. So what we do is we drag it across into a folder we've created. Hopefully you've gone to this PC on your uh, Windows Explorer program, opened up the network locations, gone to your named files, gone into your subject folder, and in there you've got one for Design and Make It Race It. I'm now going to drag in that PDF because that means I can access it easier. And I'm going to right click, open with, and this is where we can use that new program, Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a editing and creating tool for design content and we're designing boxes here so that kind of makes sense. Okay, having opened it up, if you click Control 0 it will fit everything in and you can see now where all the individual pieces for your box kind of have unfolded and are viewed on this one document. We need to start joining things together because at the moment these paths are all loose as you can see. So what we do is we drag a box over the top if you can't drag, make sure you've got the top uh, selection tool selected. And then you click Control J, which joins them as a single object. And you can see now if I click on any part of the one line, it's now one continuous line. I'm going to do this all the way around the box design. Okay. And this just means that it's a lot easier to work with um, all of the uh, design pieces. Uh, it also means that the uh, laser cutter will in cut these out really neatly. Having done that, I'm then going to save this as an Illustrator file, and that's pretty much it for this process. So we're going to go File, Save As, and then we're going to make sure we select Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to rename this F Galindo 
uh, drag staircase save and once that's done and you've selected OK here um, you're complete, you've finished and this is the first tutorial for our case design and production so stay tuned for the next one thanks for listening